x-ray box, amazing moons and suns. <laughs> that <laughs> what it says. That's the name of the book you're reading? Yes? Uh, I, I, I didn't read first. I want to read first. Okay. Story box. Story What does it say? It's a the lava fun. Yeah. What does it say? Hi! Hi! That's me. Okay, bye. We're going home. Oh, mm, this is good flowers. And what is that? Um, I did stay freezing down there. Sorry, I must have froze you. Ow, ow, that is so cold. Sorry. Ow, my eyes. Oh, hi. Nice, nice day for Monster Jam to pick up here. Yeah. <sighs> um, you shouldn't get up the water from the window. Why? Because I am swimming. Okay. Oh, a giraffe, an elephant, a bird, a lion, a butterfly. What? <laughs> a better day to do this. Yeah, it's okay. What? You said that. Storybots.com. That's what it says. No, it says sorry, but na 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 na. Sorry, Sorry, but sorry, but from Cody Kids. Sorry, but from Cody Kids. Sorry, but from Cody Kids. Sorry, but. Listen to Ivy read her book. Today we're reading The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. Who's, who's Dr. Seuss? The author of the book. It looks like Grinch. It, this is not. It's the, the same author. 
The same person wrote The Grinch Who Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. But this one is The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. Who's Dr. Seuss? He's an author who wrote a lot of funny books for kids. He's not a doctor. He's not a doctor. How do you know that? Because he's not a doctor. A doctor is not necessarily a medical doctor. A doctor just means someone who's an expert in their field of study and practice. Oh, oh. They've achieved doctorate Mommy, level mastery in Mommy, a subject matter. Is that a joke? Mommy, is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. It's that's really serious. Mommy wants to get a doctorate. The far we have to read the book to get to the joke. At the far end of town, where the gristle grass grows, and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows, and no birds ever sing, excepting old crows, is the street of the red Lorax. And, and deep in the gristle grass, some people say, if you look deep enough, you can see you today where the Lorax once stood, just as long as it could, before someone lifted the Lorax away. What is the Lorax, and why was it there, and why was it lifted and taken somewhere? From the far end of town, where the gristle grass grows, the old winter still lives there, accent he knows. You don't see the monster, you don't knock on his door. He stays and is lurking on top of his store. He lurks and is lurking and cold under the roof, where he makes his own clothes out of his myth muffled roof. And on a special dark midnights in August, he peeks out of the shutters, and sometimes he speaks and, and tells us how the Lorax was lifted away. He'll tell you perhaps if you're willing to pay. On the end of a rope, he lets down a tin pail, and you have to toss in 15 cents and, and a nail and, and a shell of a great great grandfather's nail. Then he pulls up the pail and makes the most careful count to see if you paid him the proper amount. Then he hides what you pay him away in a sur sur a secret strange hole in his cleverest glove. Then he grunts. I will, will call you by a whisper my phone. What a secret. It's art for your ears alone. Slurp. Down it slurps the whisper my phone. Yeah. I want it to your ear. The only ones to whispers are not very clear. Since they, they have, have to come down through a stringy hose. It sounds as if he had... The spouse be up his nose. Now I'll tell you, he says, with his teeth you sounding gray, how the Lorax was got lifted and taken away. It started good way back. It's not a long time back. Way back in the day, this one grew when the grass was so green, and the ponds were so white, and the clouds were so clean, and a song of swarming swans rang out in space. One morning, I came to this glorious place. I first saw the trees, the truffula trees, the bright colored tufts on the tuff, on the, the truffula trees, mile after mile, fresh morning breeze. And under the trees, I saw brown barbel lutes. Bristling about in their barbel lute suits, as they played in shade and ate truffula fruits. From the ripples, pot and the cake, and the comfortable sound of humming and fish. Humming, quiet.
while splashing around. But those trees, those trees, those trucular trees. All my life I've been searching for trees such as these. The touch of their tufts was softer than silk, and they had a sweet smell like fresh butterfly milk. I, I found a good leaping of joy in my heart. I meant Oh, just want to do. I am loading my cart. In no time at all, I have built a small shop. Then I chopped down trucks to fill a tree with one chop. But and with great speed, skillful skill, now and with great speed and speed, I took a soft up top and made it into a need. The instant I finished, I heard a gazette. I looked and saw something pop out of the stump of the tree. I chopped down. It was sort of a man describing. That's hard. I don't know if I can. He was shortish and oldish and brownish and mossy. He spoke with a voice that was sharpish and bossy. Mister! He said head with his... A swaddy sneeze. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. And I am axing you, sir, at the top of my lungs. He was very upset. He shouted and he puffed. What's that thing you made of? Out, you made out of my truffula tuff, tuft. I didn't he was all by himself. He did. Then. Okay. Look, Lorax, I said. It is no cause for harm. I chopped just one tree. I'm doing no harm. I'm being quite useful. This thing is a need. A need is a fight something that all people need. It's a shirt. It's a sock. It's a glove. It's a hat. It, but it has other uses. Yes, far beyond that. You can use it for carpets, for pillows, for sheets, or curtains, or covers, for bicycles. The, the Lorax said, Sir, you are crazy with greed. There is no one on earth who would buy that fool's meat. I mean, it wouldn't work good as a shirt because, like, it only has one armhole. So, yeah. But the very next moment, I proved he was wrong. For just that minute, a chant came along. He thought that the thing that I had knitted was great. He happily bought it for three ninety eight. I left at the Lorax. You poor stupid guy. You could have never. You can never. Never can tell what some people will buy. The brown barbie loops are so surprised. They're like, what? This is a puppet. I repeat, cried the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I'm busy, I, I called him. Shut up, if you please. I rushed across the room, and in no time at all, I built a radio phone. I put in a quick call. I called my brothers, uncles, and aunts, and I said, Listen here. Here's a wonderful chance for the whole once the family to get to my tea rich. Get over here fast. Take the road to North Niche. Turn left on Weekend. Sharp right on South Snitch. South Snitch. And in no time at all. Oh, oh. In the factory I built, a whole bunch of family was working so tight. We were knitting sneeze as busy as being. To the sound of chop, happen, to the sound of chopping, to the sound of the chopping of truffula trees. That's what it sounds like. Then, then oh, oh baby, oh. Then, how my business did grow. Now, chopping one tree at a time was too hard, so I quickly. My super axe hacker. 
a dwarf with four tumbler trees and one smacker. We were making trees four times as faster, and that Lorax, he didn't show up anymore. But the next week he knocked on my office door, he snapped. I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees, which you seem to chop it to be chopping as fast as you please, but I'm also in charge of the brown barber loops. The play he didn't share he ate in their barber loot suits. And happily lived eating trapula fruits. Now, thanks to your hacking my tree thanks to the ground, there's not enough trapula fruit to go around. And my poor barber loops are good in the crummies, because they have gas and no food in their tummies. They loved living here, but I can't let them say. They'll have to find food. I hope that they may. Good luck, boys. He cried and he sent him away. But I, the one sort of felt sad. But as, as I watched them go, but business is business. Business is business and business must grow. Regardless of crummies and tummies, you know. I meant no harm. I truly did not. But I, I had to grow bigger. And so bigger I got. The bigger my factory. I bigger my factory. I bigger my roads. I bigger my wagons. I bigger my loads. Oh, are you okay? Of needs. I shipped a. I was shipping them and forth, to the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. I went and rice need on and bickering, selling more needs and bickering my money, which everyone needs. What's a bear that though? When again he came back, I was fixing some pipes from the... When that old nuisance Lorax came back, Nick was more gripes. I am the Lorax. He's I, mean, I, see a road <coughs> I speak for the trees. He coughed I see a road and whiffed. He sneezed and snuffled. He snarled and snuffled. Once, Lord, he cried with a snuffleless croak. Once, Lord, you're making such smog with a smoke. My poor swami swan hens, why they can't sing a note. No one will. No one can sing who has smog in their throat. I can't see anything. I can see. And so, said the Lorax, please, please pardon my cough. They cannot live here, so I'm sending them off. Where will they go? I don't, I don't know. I don't hopefully know. They, they may fly have to fly for a month or a year to escape from the smog you've smogged up around here. <coughs> I would do a set. <coughs> yes. What's... Let's <coughs> <That's> go to me. <coughs> What's more? Snatch the works. His danger was up. His danger I was up. Daddy follow me. Hold on. Let me say a few words about oh, gluppity glup. Your machine chugs all day and all night without stop, making gluppity glup and also sloppity slop. And what do you do with the leftover glup? I'll show you. Oh, you dirty old ones, little man, you. You're glupping up the pond. And there are hummish. Where the humming fish tumped. No more than how can they hum? For their gills are all gummed. So I'm sending them off. Their future. Oh, their future is free. They'll walk on their fence and get hopefully weary in search of some water that isn't so smeary. Then I got mad, terribly mad. I yelled at the horse. Now listen here, Dad. Ed, Ed, all you do is yip, yip, say, bad, 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 bad. 
Well, I have my right sir, and I'm telling you indeed to go doing what that I do. And I, and for your information, you Lorax, I'm figuring on figuring and biggering and bearing and turning more truffula trees into things, which everyone, everyone, everyone needs. And that very moment, we heard a we heard a loud whack. From outside the fields, weeds can't smell getting smacked. An axe on a tree, then we heard that the tree fall. The very last the tree of them all. No more trees, no more earth needs, no more work to be done. So in no time, my uncles and aunts, everyone who... I waved me goodbye, jumped into my cart, and drove away they under the smokes I smirched stars. Now all that was left this now all that was left next a bad smelling scar was my big empty factory. A Lorax and I Lorax said nothing and just gave me a glance, a very sad glance, a sad backwards glance, as he looked at himself by the seat of his pants. And I'll never forget the grim look on his face when he had hoisted himself and took leave of this place. So I'll hold him the spark without leaving a trace. And all that the Lorax left for in this mess was a small pile of rocks. It's with one word, unless. Or will that much? Well, I couldn't go. Who made that? Who made, who made that? The Lorax did. But that was long, long ago. And the person ago. not in the house will not take his head out. They don't want to come out the house. But that, that was long, long ago. I but mean, each what? day since that, that I've sat here and worried. I mean, you and have to wait away. until he grabs something. Throughout the years, while my buildings have fallen apart, I've worried about it with all of my heart. But now, says the Luntzler, but now, says the Luntzler, now that you're here, here, the words of the Lorax seem personally he can't. Unless someone like you gives a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. I saw him. So I crash caused the one. So crash caused the one slur. He let something fall. It's a trophy seed. To the last one of them all. You're in charge of the last trap in the sea. Means. And the trap in the trees are what everyone needs. I see. Plant a new trap in the tree. I see. Treat it with care. Yes, Ollie. On the Sunday, do they? On the, on the Sunday, do he come out? No, he hasn't come out. How many? Give it. Hold on. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. Give it clean water and feed it fresh air. Grow the forest. Protect it from axes that hack. Then the Lorax and all of his friends may come back. The end. No, the end. Not the end. The end. The, the, the. I said the end. No, you said the end. No, I didn't. I said the end. Goodbye.